Hi nurses, are you ready for another nursing mnemonics and tips video? Mm-hmm. Yes, for today I will going to discuss about lidocaine toxicity. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Niga and I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing education videos to help nursing students with their studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos to do three times in a week. Don't miss that out. Subscribe now, hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that would really help me know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Hi nurses, kagayang na sinabi ko sa intro. Today is another nursing mnemonics and tips video because I will make it easier for you guys to remember the concept of your lidocaine toxicity. Let this be your guide in reviewing about your lidocaine toxicity. Now in order for me to do that, I will need to switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi everybody, welcome back to ating formal discussion ng iyong lidocaine toxicity. Yes, on this video, this is another nursing mnemonics video and I will be sharing to you the easiest way for you to remember the signs and symptoms of your lidocaine toxicity. Yes, now if you haven't watched the other nursing mnemonics videos, I'll be putting it on the icon button or description box and you might as well check out the other nursing videos I created, nursing discussions, um, para matulungan ka sa pag-aaral mo, okay? Now let's begin our discussion with our objectives. Okay, we're gonna have an overview, therapeutic drug range of lidocaine that is very important para malaman natin kung kailan siya toxic and of course, yung signs and symptoms of lidocaine toxicity. Handa ka na, let's begin. Now, I'm gonna give you the overview of your lidocaine use. Alright, the efficacy profile of lidocaine as a local anesthetic is characterized by a rapid onset of action and intermediate duration of efficacy. Therefore, lidocaine is suitable for for infiltration, block, and surface anesthesia. Longer-acting substances such as bupivacaine are sometimes given preference for spinal and peridural anesthesias. Lidocaine, on the other hand, has the advantage of a rapid onset of action. Adrenaline supplements delay the resorption. The duration of efficacy can thus almost be doubled. For surface anesthesia, several formulations are available that can be used. Example nga po nito is for gagamitin mo siya for endoscopies before intubation. Now, lidocaine is also the most important class 1B antiarrhythmic drug. Yes, hindi lang po siya pang anesthesia, ginagamit din siya sa ating mga arrhythmias. Now, it is used intravenously for the treatment of ventricular arrhythmias for acute myocardial infarction, digitalis poisoning, cardioversion, or cardiac catheterization. However, a routine prophylactic administration is no longer recommended for acute cardiac infarction. The over all benefit of this measure is not convincing. Lidocaine has also been efficient in refractory cases of status epilepticus. Yes, so mapapansin mo ginagamit siya for anesthesia, for antiarrhythmic, and for status uh, epilepticus. Okay? Let's have the therapeutic drug range of your lidocaine. So, paano mo malalamang toxic na ang lidocaine sa iyong pasyente? Ito po. The general accepted therapeutic range for lidocaine is 1.5 to 5 micro micrograms per milliliter in the upper end of the therapeutic range meaning kapag more than 3 micrograms per milliliter na nga po ang level ng iyong lidocaine ay you can uh, prompt the doctor for possible lidocaine toxicity but i really want you to pay attention on this value ha huh? 1.5 to 5 micrograms per milliliter. Lidocaine is administered as an infusion. Therefore, levels can be drawn at any time after the steady state is reached. Steady state is usually attained within 18 to 24 hours. The half time of lidocaine ranges from 1.5 hours to as long as 5 hours. Alright? What are the signs and symptoms of your lidocaine toxicity? Now, for you to easily remember your lidocaine toxicity, I want you to remember this. 
Sams. Mm-hmm. Si Sams Milby. Charing. Ayun siya. So, itong Sams na to, ito ang ating mnemonics at bawat letra dyan ay may kahulugan. Ito ang una. S for slurred speech. Now, this is due to paresthesia and numbness of lips and tongue. Naalala mo kasi meron siyang anesthetic effect kaya meron kang slurred speech brought by paresthesia. Ano yung A? A is for altered central nervous system. Mm-hmm. Ano-ano yung mga signs nito? Pag sinabi mo kasing altered central nervous nervous system, may kinalaman ito sa kamalayan ng iyong pasyente. Meron diyang drowsiness, restlessness, arrhythmias, dizziness, and of course, confusion. Next, what is M? Muscle twitching. Dahil ito sa tremors. So, nagtutwitch yung facial muscle ng iyong pasyente. Maaring hindi lang sa facial muscle, kundi sa other parts of the body ng iyong pasyente. Kapag positive sa muscle twitching, you can suspect lidocaine toxicity. Ang pinakahuli ay yung seizures. Now, naalala mo, ito ay binibigay sa mga status epilepticus, eto siya. So, kapag ang pasyente mo ay nagsasuffer sa lidocaine toxicity, you can expect signs like convulsions, may respiratory depression, respiratory and cardiac arrest, which is pinakaayaw mo mangyari sa iyong pasyente. Once again, this is your SAMS, you guys. S for slurred speech, A for altered central nervous system, M for muscle twitching, and S for seizures. Na para mas tumatak itong discussion natin, ito bibiyan kita ng ibang mga, ng ilang mga few reminders, okay? Okay? Now, this is your lidocaine, you guys. Now, I want you to remember that lidocaine is a class 1B antiarrhythmic used as a second-line agent and after myocardial infarction. While generally safe, lidocaine can be toxic if administered in 1.5 to 5 micrograms per milliliter. Appropriately, in some cases, may cause unintended reaction even when properly administered. What else? Lidocaine toxicity is seen at levels greater than 5 micrograms grams per milliliter. Remember the mnemonic SAMS for signs and symptoms of your lidocaine toxicity. You guys, tapos na nga tayo. Thank you so much you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Abangan nyo po yung mga next video natin regarding sa nursing management, um, nursing mnemonics, um, fundamentals of nursing, medical surgical nursing, di mawawala, mga communicable diseases at nursing pharmacology. I-upload natin yun sila. Med Meron pa tayong anatomy ha. Mga i-upload natin sila this week. Now, I really, really want to grab this opportunity to thank everybody and that includes you for making my dreams come true. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pag-suporta, sa pag-like, sa pag-share. Na-appreciate ko po kayong lahat. Once again, I'll see you again next time. You guys stay safe. Thank you so much you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Help me grow my channel. You are already here. You might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team Kulto. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. You put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlists I created for you. We'll be putting the links on the description box. So simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gavi. I'll see you again.